Angola declared independence from Portugal in 1961, and there Angola was declared a republic. However, Angolan politics was roughly disputed, as Angola was split between the socialist MPLA and the conservative FNLA. Both of these political parties wanted to control all of Angola and establish its first government. By 1975, Angola was declared to be in a civil war. There were UNITA, got support from FNLA, which they fought together as allies against the communist MPLA. The FLEC, a separatist movement, declared the independence of Cabadina and saw themselves as an ally of the capitalists. Who are supporting these two factions? Well, we have the communist allies, which the MPLA had a lot of allies. Cuba be a very important ally to them, and we will get into that in a little bit. The capitalists, of course, got support from the capitalist allies, like the USA and other democracies. The MPLA were making good gains in the north. Things were not looking good for UNITA. South Africa had told the government that they would pull their forces out of but this policy was reversed. Cuba pledged full involvement in the MPLA and with help of the Soviets flew Cuban troops into Luanda. By 1976, more and more countries began showing support to MPLA. And the MPLA had occupied a great majority of the country and had destroyed the independence movements in Cabadina. The MPLA and the Cuban forces control of all of Angola still received revolts against the UNITA troops. However, the MPLA were, were weary towards the Cubans as they were seen as colonists. The People's Republic of Angola was declared officially bringing Angola to Marxist-Leninism. South Africa, which had pulled out of the war in 1975, rejoined and invaded Angola to support UNITA. UNITA and South African forces attacked the MPLA's base at Quito. Canavel in 1888. Castro then gets more involved in the conflict, bringing Cuba into its most aggressive position in the war. The South African border war later came to an end that year with a ceasefire. In 1989, communism fell, which defeated the purpose of the MPLA government in Angola. So, the MPLA became more democratic, however, had strong ties to socialism. But in 1991, government troops attacked UNITA supporters. In response, raids broke out, ki killing many UNITA supporters. Fighting continues until 1991 to 1993, until UNITA and had gained most of Angola land. A ceasefire was signed on October 31st, 1994. UNITA and the MPLA agreed to sign a ceasefire, but fighting continued until 2002 when UNITA collapsed and the MPLA took control of all of Angola, ending the Civil War. The MPLA would continue to dominate Angolan politics as even today, every president of Angola identifies as one of the MPLA and would continue to dominate today.